What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Pro Source Pod. I'm Eric. We got Nick here. Today, we're going to be doing baseball overrated and underrated. So we're going to have a list of a bunch of things in the baseball world. We're going to deem them as either overrated or underrated. Nick's going to ask me first, and I'm going to give you my takes. Okay, so Eric panicked a little bit with that. It was a little difficult to explain, so to make it a little bit easier for you guys, there's going to be five and five. I'm going to have ten things for Eric that he's going to list. Five things overrated, five things underrated. He's just putting them in the bucket. I'm going to do the same thing. He's going to be ten things. I'm either going to say overrated or underrated. I'm going to start this one off with Eric. Is it overrated or underrated, the value of a five-tool player? The value of a five-tool player is overrated, in my opinion. The bold take? It's overrated. Do you have any basis behind it? I think that there aren't as many five-tool players in the game as you might think. There's actually uh, a slew of them right it's, now. It's, it's, there's definitely They're more. They're quite literally everywhere. There's more than there used to be, but I would say if you take... There's why more, is it, there's why is it non, overrated? There's though? more non five tool players than there are five tool players. Why is it overrated? It's overrated because if you're if you just go out looking for five tool players, one you're going to spend way too much money. And why are you spending a lot of money on it? That has nothing to do it's with a five money. Tool, if it's a five tool player, <laughs> they're gonna, they're, it has nothing dude. to do with money. If they're a five tool player, they're just going to get paid because they're a really good player. You have to go They're not getting paid off of being a five-tool player. They're getting drafted off of being a five-tool player. Well, if we're talking about the draft, we haven't even really set parameters for whether these guys are getting drafted or they're just... A five-tool player is a prospect. A five-tool player is a prospect. That five-tool player either is a five-tool player who makes it or he doesn't. You're just saying... You're just calling it overrated. All right, whatever. That's, that's my opinion. Go is it overrated? Okay. It's overrated. All right. Bold take. Okay. Defensive metrics like UZR or DRS. I can't say I know what either one of those things are. Um, I'll go off. I'll give you. I'll, I'll give go you a description. Just- Advanced defensive stat offer insight into a player's fielding abilities beyond traditional fielding percentage or errors. Overrated. Over <laughs> overrated fielding percentage. That's it. Okay. All right. Bullpen management. Overrated or underrated? Bullpen management. That's a good one. I don't even know what it really means. Read the description. Effective management of a bullpen can be crucial to a team's success. Yeah, absolutely. (laughs) That doesn't receive the attention it deserves compared to a starting pitching. What is this list? (laughs) Ask the robot, all right? Not me. I'm going to say bullpen management's underrated. I'm gonna say that's underrated. It's it's definitely crucial to be able to manage your right. bullpen. Yeah. So what right now? What do you got in your underrated and your overrated bucket? Underrated, we got bullpen management. Overrated, we got defensive <laughs> metrics like UZR and whatever the fuck. And overrated, we also got five tool players. So two things. Okay. All right. It's it's two to one. Two to one. Advanced scouting and analytics. I'm giving you a lot of ones you don't really know These anything about. These are tough. Advanced scouting and analytics, dude. That's all right. As a pitcher, there's some weird stuff that Max Scherzer looks at, and I don't even know what he's looking at, but it apparently helps him. Just give me a second. That's it's pro- can I say properly rated? <laughs> <laughs> That's not an option. Fuck. All right. I'm going underrated. I'm going to go underrated only because I know that there there are people who look at all this stuff and they it works for them and they have success with it. Underrated. So it's two to two now? Two to two. Okay. Minor league development. Underrated. Definitely underrated. I know that there's... there's I don't even know how you rate that one. There, It's underrated, I think, because there's been... I know there's certain clubs that were reported to not have the best facilities, not have the best living conditions in the minor leagues, and those there's actually a report about this. I'm going to love with you. I don't even know if this is a rateable one. <laughs> Just let me finish. There's a report about this, that these clubs with these shitty facilities, shitty living conditions. Just say it's the Angels. It's the Angels. Upgraded. <laughs> it's the Angels. Uh, upgraded Elephant in the room things, is the Angels. Upgraded these things, and they're... Um, 
I don't know. Their their players got a lot better from this because they weren't living in the Dodgers dog spend shit. money on their farm system and it and, shows. Yeah, yeah, underrated. I believe it was Gabe Kapler who, uh, when he was in charge of development, brought in all like the personal chefs for every level, and it shows because God knows why anyone they bring up is just apparently great. Yeah, those cats can ball. Dodgers. All right. So what, what's this list at now? It's three underrated. It's, it's three underrated, two overrated. Save opportunities. Because you know this is this is an overrated, what? underrated topic. Wait, chat GPT <laughs> blows for this. <laughs> Save opportunities. Un- underrated, I guess. Like <laughs> it's it's just like it's just like a baseball thing. Okay. It's just a baseball thing. A save opportunity? How can you rate that as overrated or underrated? It's uh, it's underrated. Save our opportunities underrated. Team success in postseason. I don't even know. I, actually, this one's pretty good. Mm. You're going through it. Mm. Is it overrated or is it underrated? Team success in the postseason. It's definitely underrated, dude, because you could have you could have a very mediocre regular season and just go on a run in the playoffs. So and if you become a world champion, if you become a world champion, nobody remembers the mediocre season. Nobody remembers that. You could just be a good playoff team. No, but wouldn't that make it overrated? Because you can go to the World Series and be the wild card and stink, and then people think you're good, and then you don't even sniff the playoffs next year. Well, you could, I mean, so it's, it I guess depend it depends how you're viewing yeah, it. It would depend on the team, too, right? It would, de- I, I, feel, I think we're on the same. I think I feel like this one well. really tripped you up and don't know how to answer it because it's kind of misleading. <laughs> it is very misleading, but no, I think I, I think I'm coming from a, a good place here yeah. saying it's underrated. So are you at underrated? Or is that four? That's five, I think. Oh. You got, what, two more for the overrated? So by default. Uh, by default, they're probably overrated, but let's let's see what they say. On base percentage? <laughs> Damn, that's, like, not overrated. I mean, you're the one that put everything in the underrated bucket early. Well, you have to live with it. Overrated. OBP is the most overrated stat in baseball. It's stupid. <laughs> Um, that one's gonna piss situational off. hitting. <sighs> you, you don't really have anywhere <laughs> to go. I don't know about situational hitting. <laughs> you, you don't have an I've option. Been a, I've been a PO it's, since I was. It's quite literally. You have to go with this. situational it's hitting. Overrated. Overrated. All right. Overrated there, situational hitting. There you have it, folks. There's Eric's five overrated and five underrated. Yeah. And some of them are definitely awful takes. OBP. Overrated. I'll, I'll according die on the to hill. Eric. Yeah. <laughs> By default, overrated. Yeah. All right. Here all right. we go. Let's ask. Let's ask. Hey, now. just so you know, mine are all the other ones that are way, haven't been asked, yeah. asked yet. All right. Win loss record for pitchers, overrated or underrated? Underrated. I think there's something about a dog who goes out there and wins. People yeah. want to get rid of it. It's I like still a that thing. one. I like that one. And it's like people always use Jacob Degrom as the poster child for like. Yeah, he don't stinks. Matter. Jacob Degrom stinks. He doesn't play. He does. He doesn't play, but he doesn't. He stink. doesn't play. He stinks. Are you playing? Have you played lately? As far as I know, right now he stinks. He doesn't play. All right, <laughs> that's uh, we're we're gonna move on to the next one. Traditional batting average. <laughs> batting average doesn't account for walks. Or- I know what the batting okay. average is. Right. Batting right, average right. is underrated. Okay. Even though people want to get rid of batting average, you you should hit the ball. You should get base hits. Okay. It, I will say this. It is harder to get base hits now because the shift's everywhere, even though they got rid of the shift. No, they didn't. People still... It's, there's still shift, basically. You just can't cheat megaly. But even that was stupid. Freedom. All right. So that's two for underrated. Clutch hitting. Underrated. 
Starting off I'm, with I'm, green, I'm digging myself in a hole here. <laughs> so clutch hitting, it's like, I don't know. What do you want me to say? Like some people have the dog in them. Some people don't. Yeah. David Freeze will forever be a legend for what he did in the playoffs. 100%. David Freeze is a beast. He kind of stinks. <laughs> he kind of like wasn't great in any regular season. But he's always going to be remembered for what he did in the postseason. Yeah. Postseason performance. Underrated. Doesn't matter. For a team. Yeah. Don't want to help me out? Okay. All right. Dude, this... All right. I'm throwing this one back in your face. Save opportunities. You can't. You, you, I already told you. Here. No, I told you. I'm the other did ones you, that weren't asked. Did you go... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Old school baseball wisdom. Like, just throw... Overrated. Overrated. Okay. D- get, the, get the old heads out of here. Stop talking about... Th- throwing your hands at the ground stop chopping wood (laughs) we're not doing that i agree with this one i agree with this one get the fuck yeah like you you stop talking about husking corn yeah and shucking oysters like get out of here at the same time though i agree with old things but like i don't agree with old things get the old heads out of here all right, there you have it. Managerial experience. Do you need a do you overrated? Need a no, overrated. I really wanted to make this one underrated because, like, I think there's people who manage like way too much in terms of like analytically and stuff. But at the same time, like, you can kind of just. A bad manager is like someone where it's like, this is really tough. I don't know why this one's so tough because I want to make it underrated. But you don't have room. But it's also, it's like, I also think that like the manager really doesn't make that much of a difference. Like like people would jerk off a manager for no reason. And it's like, hey, like they have Bryce Harper and, you know. Kyle Schwarber and Trey Turner. Like, they're going to be fine. I might just be using the Phillies as an example right now. Yeah. Like, people hated Charlie Manuel because they said he was an idiot. But, like, he won a World Series and everyone's like, oh, he's the greatest thing in the world. Well, people, but then they also still called him an idiot. Still yeah. Hate Charlie Manuel. Like, there's some people who yeah. hate Charlie Manuel. Some, we were talking about so, this the other day. Once again, they had Ryan, they had Big Peace. They J roll. They had big piece. They had Otley. Um, nothing else needs to be said. Overrated. Okay. They were gonna win. So what's that? Four to one. No, there's two on the okay. overrated. We got no. It's three. It's three to two. Okay. Home runs is a sole measure of power. That's stupid. Yeah. I I, I don't even know how to rate that. That's probably overrated. Home run. Yeah, overrated. Only, yeah. Overrated. That's just stupid. That is a stupid one. Doubles. Yeah. Like gaps is power. That's deep, that's stupid. Deep flyouts are power. Sac RBIs is a metric yeah. of power. Honestly, it's like OPS plus is what they use now, but it's like whatever. But just home runs, no, that's stupid. All right. <clears throat> I have a good one for you. Catcher's framing ability. Underrated. It, most people don't realize what's going on behind the plate and especially like you, you have to really tune in on it and it's like people like who casually watch the game or people who are like it's, if you didn't catch her you weren't into that stuff it, like if people will watch like the pitch box and be like oh it's a it's a ball it's a horrible call it's like well you don't know the other side of it one the box on tv is off so like it depends where the broadcast puts it so the box might just be off in general. That's true. The other part of That's it true. is even if it was, a catcher's job is to take a ball off the plate and make it make a, strike. a strike. If you're a really good catcher, you do that like eight times in a game. That's if you're like one of the best catchers around. If not, if you're not good at stealing pitches, like you're probably not going to be back there long or you're probably just a hitter. But like, it's like one of those things where it's like people who are casuals would be like, oh, catcher didn't do anything. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up. You don't really know what's going on. Like, underrated. Underrated. 
Good take. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a good take. Their job is quite literally would, to take pitches off the plate and I make would them rank a it strike. There too, for sure. All right. Let's go team chemistry. I want to make it overrated. Team chemistry is overrated. Team chemistry is overrated. That's a, that's a fucking ice cold take. I've been on teams where we kind of didn't like each other. But like if we went out there, it was like, that's my guy. Even regardless. No, that you, is team chemistry. That's the no, 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 no. I, I, I'm just trying to. I just want people to know that you, you don't have to like everybody. <laughs> Define team chemistry. The dynamics and cohesion of a team can be as important as individual talent, yet it often receives less attention in discussions about team. It seems like ChatGPT thinks it's underrated. <laughs> I, I wish I could say underrated, but everyone's going to say it's it's underrated. No, it's overrated. You either show up and you win, or you start pointing the thing. But that's team it's, chemistry. It's, that's not team overrated. Ca- it's definitely not, <laughs> it's overrated. not overrated. It's underrated. <laughs> it's, underrated. <laughs> it's underrated. What am I at? Is that five? Uh, I think. Are you at five and five? That's why. That's, I, I think. Or no, there might be four. one more. There might be one more. Yeah, there's one more. Okay. Popularity of certain traditions like bunning. Sacrifice bonds. Perfect. Overrated. Overrated. Couldn't have made a better list. I couldn't made I couldn't have made two better lists. I was really fighting team chemistry for some reason. <laughs> but it's a perfect list. Bonding, smell ya. I agree with that. Get rid of bonding. It's stupid. stupid. Nobody wants to see <laughs> Unless it's a pitcher. <laughs> Unless it's a pitcher. Pitchers don't even hit me. Pitchers should hit. I dude, that's something I agree with. Pitchers Pitcher, should hit. Bring pitchers back into hitting. Everyone wants to see pitchers hit. Zach Grinke, he's pitching in the major league still, I think. Yeah. Let him hit. Just let him fucking hit. No, but like also, like but the sidebar on that, bunning if you're in high school, bunning is awesome. Bunning in a college can work. In the pr- get it out you're of there. No one's bunning. No one's bunning. No one's bunning. No one's bun. bunning. You ever realize they all mess it up too if they put on a bunt? They never get it down. Just get rid of it. Swing the bat as hard as you can. Put it over the fence like a Babe Ruth. That's all you want to see. <laughs> this is awesome, guys. That's uh, that's baseball overrated, underrated. That's gonna be a wrap for this. Ex- eh. That's gonna be a wrap for this. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a wrap for this episode. Tune into the next one. Peace.